Hello, Wax friends. Happy New Year's Eve. Hope everyone's doing well. Um, we are going to dinner tonight, pretty close to home, just a local bar and grill. Um, they've got some really good specials tonight. So we're going to do that for New Year's Eve. I don't know if we'll do anything after. We might go into one of the um, bars of town and have a drink or two. We're not huge drinkers. I don't know that I've seen New Year's Eve. I mean, I don't know that I've seen Midnight since for probably three or four years. <laughs> and I don't really care to. Um, I just want to come on real quick before I get dressed and um, do this video. I have two, two subscription boxes to share with you that I get. And then I wanted to go over my uh, wax numbers and what my plans are for the new year. I don't have any big plans. Um, but just, just going to try to do better. But first, let's talk about the two subscription boxes that I currently get. Now, if you've watched me, you know that subscription boxes is really how I got interested in YouTube and started watching a lot of people on YouTube. There was a time, I mean, I was getting everything under the sun. But I've come back to just two subscription boxes. And one of them is a perfume subscription, which is Scentbird. Um, you can join Scentbird um, for $8.47 for your first month if you want to give it a try. If you don't like it, you can cancel it. For that $8.47, you'll get one perfume and you will get your automizer contraption. And I don't have it with me because you don't get one every month. You can order one every month, but... Um, Otherwise, I don't know, it's like every, I don't know how many months you get one. But your perfume comes in a size like this, and then it just goes into your automizer bottle and you press down. Um, I don't care for the new automizers as well as I like the old ones, but, you know, they didn't ask me to design the case. I get two cents a month, and I... This is terrible. I need to find the credit card that this is charged to to see how much I pay. For some reason, I'm thinking it's I'm thinking it's like 22 a month, something like that. I don't need perfume. I may decrease this for the new year, but I am going to keep at least getting one. Um, and what I got in this month is, and you can pick your scents or you can let them pick them for you. Um, the first one I got is Derek Lamb. Crosby. I know, I have no idea what kind of designer this is. This is Give Me the Night. It's a jasmine and a moss scent. I really, really like this one. It says, powdery scents of jasmine, sambac, and moss evoke the sense of possibilities in the night. Sometimes the anticipation is the lure and she wears it like a scent. Yeah, this one's kind of warm. It's, it's a little green. It's, it's green, but it's not young green. I really, really like this one. So I've got that one. And they come in these little containers like this. And the second one I got is Confessions of a Rebel Bitch Please. Now this one says um, black currant, jasmine, sandalwood, and skin musk. In your face fruit notes like black currant mingle with jasmine petals weaving a decadent web tinged with an element of sass bold brass and unafraid to bear it all creamy sandalwood and skin musk evoke a carefree confident kind of vibe you know exactly who you are and you are in fact the fucking boss okay well yeah i'm gonna try to spray this one nice I think I like I think I like the Derek lamb more but I'm gonna go ahead and wear this one tonight just because I've got it on my and I'll, I, I'll spray it on my clothes I always spray perfume on my clothes do you guys I know they say not to do that that all you need to do is put it on like the pulse points I spray it all over me yeah, um, this one is good. Ooh, I kind of get some of that sweet blackberry or black currant. 
I don't know. This one's growing on me. Yeah, so I get that subscription. I do love perfume. And like I said, I have a daughter who probably goes through a bottle of perfume, a full-size bottle of perfume a month. The other subscription I get is the Walmart Beauty Box. Now, this is a quarterly subscription. It's now, I think, $7.99 a month. Like I said, I need to look at the credit card and see what I'm being charged for this. Some months, this is really, really good. Other months, not so good. Now, this one actually is really good. It just has an item. It has a couple items that I won't use. Um, so, from Sally Hansen, I got a full set of nails. It's um, They have adhesive tabs and nail glue included. I mean, this is something, you know, a lot of girls use stuff like that. There is from Garnier Skin Active Micellar Water. So that's nice for taking off your makeup. We will use that. Um, a small bottle of Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Lotion. Definitely will use that. There is a Wet n Wild full-size blush. This was in Pinch Me Pink. You know, if that's a good color for you, that's great. Now, the other thing, the last thing that's in this box that I really like, this is the Bright 2 Pen. It's a dual action stain repellent teeth whitening pen. Enamel safe from Lumin, Luminu, Luminu, Lumina. I don't know. And I don't know that I'm gonna be able to get this open without using my teeth. And I don't want to do that. Let's see if we can see what this one looks like. All right. All right, here we go. I'll show you what this looks like. Like I said, sometimes you get really interesting things. Okay, so. Well, and of course this is wrapped up like Fort Knox too. I guess that's good. Let's see here. Sorry, y'all. I had no idea this would be so hard to get into. Oh, okay. So there you go. It's just a, a whitening pen. I will definitely use that. That was a good look, wasn't it? Okay. So those are the two subscription boxes I get. I thought about subscribing back to Ipsy um, and then I looked at my stash of skincare products and I don't need to. So I'm going to opt out of that. Uh, okay. So I'll just stick with these two for now. I don't think I'll be, I know I'm not going to cancel my Walmart. I might um, reduce my scent bird to one fragrance a month instead of two. Now to the fun stuff. Okay, so I have a spreadsheet that has all of my wax. It is separated. Um, each, uh, each vendor has their own sheet, tells me what I have, the, the scents, um, in what form I have, how many I have, that sort of thing. So at some point this past year, I stopped putting my samples in the spreadsheet. So my numbers aren't going to be 100% accurate because I do have samples that I use that aren't in the spreadsheet, but this is pretty darn close. And, you know, I, I could have screwed up. I could have missed adding something. I could have missed, more likely I missed taking something off the spreadsheet. <sighs> okay, guys, are you ready? So everything counts as one on my spreadsheet, whether it's a, a loaf a clamshell, a sample, uh, a bag of, you know, a brittle bar, um, a snap bar, a, a puppy pack. That each thing is one. And if the if it's a loaf and I only used half, it's still a one. Okay. So the total of my wax items is three thousand eight hundred sixty-eight. That does include candles, and I'm gonna run down the list for you. Bath and Body Works, 271. Savannah Blue, 10. The Melting Co. 4. Hobby Lobby Wax, 13. K 
Haze, 147. Cam Jam Jack Wax, 23. Dessa's, 27. Salt Mountain Melts, 23. Destination Wax, 42. Broadway Wax, 26. Sparkles Wax, 7. Empire Alchemy, 10. Southbound, 26. The Melted Moose, 28. Super Tarts, 44. Avon, I have one candle. Candleberry, I have two candles. Silky Soaps, one. Sonoma, I have 17 candles. Homeworks, one candle. Ulta, one candle. Fantasy Wax, five. A Dollar General, I have four of their candles. Six from the Burning Mitten. 1,099 Scentsy Bars. Sassy Girl Aroma, 223. Up the Creek Scents, 22. Bodies Harmony, two. Waxidents, eight. Delectable Plaid, three. L3, 327. The Bathing Garden, 18. Chicks and Wicks Wax, three. The Pharmacist's Daughter, 14. Tea Time Tart, six. Ebony Violet, 20. Zape, eight. The Melt Stash, 18. Sensationals, 98. Better Homes and Gardens, 54. Swanky, 144. 38 Cents, 6. Waxy Taffy, 10. Candles by Victoria, 42. Kringle, uh, 16. That is all wax. That is not candles. I don't believe I have any Kringle candles. Yankee, 22. That is all wax. I don't have any Yankee candles. Sea Sugar, 1. Glitterati, 6. Ava's or Traverse City, 30. Knowles Farm Scents, 55. Candles from the Keeping Room, 24. Harper James, 27. Second and Spruce, 64. Ebony and Ivory Wax, 33. Um, some, uh, Scented Squirrel, I have one left. Kathy's Scoopable Wax, 52. Vintage Chic Scents, 74. Rose Girls, 164. Teddy Bees 131, Rainbow Melts 38, Hayden Rose 7, Britta 79, Lavender and Speckles 55, Birdies Making Sense uh, 49, That Smell Good Shop 25, Sassy Wax 3, Yummer's Delight 1, and something else 49, CF Wax. Yeah. Um, guys, what a CF wax. That is going to be at the end of my spreadsheet. Let's see if I can freaking figure out. Oh, closet full of wax. Now, closet full of wax, that is almost all, um, that's almost all samples. Most of my closet full of wax is from a sample, um, sam sample sampler and I do have some of their scoopable. So that tells you that I have a lot of freaking wax and now you know why I have no room anymore to store it. And it's, it's giving me a little anxiety. It's, um, it's just not necessary to have all this. So now I'm gonna tell you what I have still outstanding. I have a Super Tarts pre-order that probably has about 10 uh, bam bag, um, the little, the small, BAM bags, the, the half bands. I have 12 brittles still coming from Sassy Girl Aroma. I have a pre-order of eight souffles coming from Swanky. I have five scoops from Scoopable Tart Wax that I ordered today because I've never tried the three cakes. I have three of the waxy taffy tubs coming. I have four souffles from Pharmacist Daughter, two mini loaves from Sassy Wax Melts. Um, they did get a new formula. So I wanted to just try two things. I picked scents that I think should throw well. Um, and then from Britta's, I have a pre-order of two loaves, three souffles, and one shape. So all of that is outstanding to go along with my 3,800 pieces of wax. So what I've decided I'm going to do, I'm going to... Every week when I do an empties, I'm going to subtract and I'm going to give you all the numbers. The goal is for more to go out than is coming in. And I do know that some weeks that probably won't happen because of a Sensi order. Because I am a Sensi consultant. I do have a Sensi club. It's quarterly. So when my club comes, you know, that'll be a lot coming in that week. And I don't usually change my wax out midday. 
unless it's just really not performing or if it's a coffee scent, sometimes I will switch out midday. I don't really have any purchasing goals except to try to be smarter about purchasing. I don't have to purchase enough to get free shipping. If there's only one thing that I know that I love and that I need, it's okay to buy that one thing. And it is okay to do that. So I don't need anything right now. Um, there's nothing that I'm without that is my favorite. I have my favorite coffee coming from Brita's. So right now there really isn't anything that I want. The only, the only wax that is really, I have my sights set on right now is when Second and Spruce does a, a, their next order. But I don't know. Um, I just know I do, I am in a good place in my head with wax and the fact that I don't need any more and I have to make wiser decisions and we have a couple big trips this year. So, um, yeah, I, I just don't want to be paying for wax right now. So that is my plan. Nothing really set in stone except to um, hold myself accountable with the numbers and to let you guys know every week where I'm at. And like I said, I might go through some stuff because you know how sometimes I'll do a sample day and I'll just do my whole open concept maybe in all my strawberry samples. Well, there's a good chance if I do 10 samples, those 10 may not be in my spreadsheet because I did stop putting samples in my spreadsheet at one time. So, you know, that may make it look like I really didn't get through um, as much when we look at the numbers. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna put any hard rules on myself. Uh, I don't do really well with hard rules. So um, right now I'm in a good frame of mind with this. So uh, I'm excited to shop my stash. I'm excited to warm what I have. I'm a little concerned about content. You know, like, well, if I don't have all these hauls coming in, what, what kind of videos am I gonna do? So I do think I might start with monthly melting baskets. And so tomorrow I might take what's behind me and that may be my January melting basket. I think that's what I'm going to do because I mean, I told you in, in another video, I can't really get in my wax closet. And that's where all my oldest wax is besides what is behind me. So I think I will start doing a melting basket and pull from that basket for the month. So we'll see. So anyway, I am going to go and get my dinner clothes on. Um, everyone, please have a, a safe and fun New Year's Eve. And I look forward to uh, another year of all your videos um, for you, those of you who make videos. And I look forward to hearing from my subscribers who don't make videos as well. Um, it's going to be a good year. So everyone have a great night and I will see you in 2024. Bye.